What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. It is currently nighttime here at the Holmes Compound in Oregon and I'm getting another video ready for you guys to watch. So in today's video, it's not necessarily racing related. As you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, we had some issues with our motorhome. Now, even though it's not directly racing related, I thought this would be a great video because it honestly has a huge effect on our racing with what happened. So if you guys are a longtime viewer of the vlog, you guys know that my family and I are diehard racers. We try to race every single weekend, get as many races in a year as possible. And even when people take time off in the winter, we race outlaw carts indoors to keep up our skills and our abilities. So right now we are currently in a transition from sprint cars. Our last race was this past weekend at Coos Bay. And then we have a few weeks until we go racing indoor at Red Bluff and places like Roseburg. But in these few weeks, we try to enjoy them as much as possible because we don't have a lot of them. Even though we really, really enjoy racing, sometimes it is nice to take a step back and just not do it for a weekend. So for a background on kind of the vlog and what's gonna happen, so in between our season, you know, like I said, these few weeks, we have one week with how the dates fall, we go on our annual camping trip, which is actually close over by Coos Bay. It's about three, three and a half hours away. And we've been doing this for about the past 10 years. And my dad did it when he was a kid. Our whole family goes over there and then a bunch of other family, friends, about 20 to 30 people. We all go camping for the week and hang out. It's actually really fun. You know, we do the whole bonfire thing. We all set up our trailers and then we go crabbing, sometimes fishing and really just enjoy ourselves. And with everyone's busy schedule, this is a great time for everyone to actually be in the same spot at a certain time and uh, kind of just catch up. So our sprint car season ended and then we had a few days kind of uh, my parents went to work. I did my whole schooling, same with my siblings. And then it was finally time to head to another coast trip. And so we were driving over and how you get there, you go up the interstate and then you cut over on a highway that takes you over to the Oregon coast. And it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's, you know, no service. It's in a forest. And we're driving through this windy road and all of a sudden we had to come to a stop for construction and all of a sudden we saw some smoke. Well, my dad didn't think it was that bad or whatever, um, but my mom's like, no, that's not good. So we pulled over to the side of the road and when my dad turned it off and then when he went back to turn our toter home back on, it would not start. And so that's that. We're getting ready to kind of get into the vlog part where I started vlogging. I was not intending to video any of this. But I got my camera out because I knew this might be kind of a crazy story. Little background on our toter home. So we got it in 2010 and man, has it been one of the biggest blessings for us because we've used that for everything. Every time we travel to the races and we have to stay there overnight or it's a long haul, we use the motor home and then we never have to stay in hotels. And when we bought it, it had 40,000 miles on it. And since then we've put another 80,000 miles on it. So right up around 120,000. And man, it has been the best investment I think we ever ever made because with all the traveling we do to Red Bluff in the off season, we don't have to get hotels. And then all through the summer with all the races we do, you know, and we're doing 60, 70, 80 shows a year, man, it's really nice to have that thing. So I'm super thankful for that. And it really hasn't given us that many issues in all those miles we've put on it. This is one of the first big issues. So uh, anyway, enjoy this part of the vlog of all the issues we have with it, breaking down on the side of the road and, and hanging out with the Holmes family for a night. And then I'll catch up with you guys at the end. So we are currently broken down right now. I figured I might as well start vlogging. We're on the way to the coast, which is a fun trip we do every single year. We are, um, what, mile marker 46 you said? Mile marker 46, we're on highway 42. I was just in the back listening to some podcasts, writing um, a resume for racing, and the thing started smoking. The motorhome, which we've actually had a lot of issues with uh, lately, but my dad's surprised. We'll go outside and see, I think they're, I mean, nothing will start. Nothing will start right now. We called every towing company and no one wants to tow us. So we might be stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, might have to be Bear Grylls tonight. But uh, anyway, let's head outside and check this out. Also, let me remind you, if we're lucky, we get randomly one bar. Otherwise, there's no service out here. So, we're on the, we're by this tiny little crowded highway kinda go through nowhere to get to the coast, the Oregon coast. And uh, this is our situation right now. So right now we are doing our annual coast trip. My dad did this when he was a little kid. We go over to Sunset Bay and uh, all of our family gets together. We're there for about four or five days and we're on our way there now and we broke down. So this should be a pretty fun vlog.
they are uh, trying to get us a little bit more out of the road. So then, you know, we're on, like I said, a little tiny highway here and cars go flying. It's a wild bird. Boom. Right there. So everything, look at everything's piled in right here. And we're stuck. So we're about an hour and a half away from home. We might drive this thing back home, but every towing company that we called, they just referred us to one of their other people in town, like go to someone else. So no one really wants to help us. So we might be stuck for a little bit. Update guys, 803, every towing service declined us. <laughs> <laughs> we're still sitting here. Mile marker 146. Mile marker 46. Oh, 146. <laughs> and um, yeah. Everybody's just chilling. Um, good thing we stopped in a spot where, like, one of my dad's, or my dad knows the con people who are doing the construction here, and um, he said that you really don't have to worry about anything getting stolen, but he has had a few windows shot out. So, um, if we have to stay here tonight, wish us luck. <coughs> Should be fun. We're all gonna die. Update now. It's 8.50 the next day. We are still here on the side of the road. No windows were shot out. Uh, no one hit us. Nothing. Surprisingly, no one bothered us at all either. The one thing I can't believe the most though is no one stole anything. Especially with this kind of parked behind the rig. Uh, my dad, we did this on purpose because of like if a drunk driver came in and slid in and hit this. But uh, no one bothered any of it. So right now my dad's gonna move the truck because we're trying to get uh, everything inside the cab loaded into the motorhome. So anyway, we could not get a tow truck last night. No one was available. And we even contacted some of our buddies that race sprint cars um, back in, uh, in Medford. And so they have their best tow man coming to get us right now. It's gonna be here about 25 minutes. It's almost nine o'clock and we're finally gonna be unstuck. We really weren't stuck that long just overnight. We were hoping to get back home late last night at least. Just, um, you know, it's nice to be in your own bed, but uh, it is what it is. We're, we're gonna have service here soon. Once we get towed away, we'll finally kind of get back into some better service and we'll be headed home. Our tow truck has arrived, so we're gonna be heading home soon. Right now they are currently lifting up the front and then here very soon they're gonna be able to get it on. I believe they have to take the drive line out first. So uh, the RV's all ready to go. They're gonna tow it back to Metford. We're getting in uh, our old blue truck. So this is the truck that they've had for so long. We call it the Chevroni. We always take it camping every year because like, you know, we just, we don't use it that much. And it has kind of that camping smell, the crabbing, the fish, the ocean. And good thing we were towing it because now we're all, five of us are gonna get in here and we're gonna drive this thing back home. I'm so sad. There it is. So, we're just going down to turn around. Yeah. Remember, we're out kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I, I'm just glad we're heading home. So that was an adventure for sure. Uh, I gotta thank everyone at Twindells Towing for getting us up and running and back home. It's now at Freightliner and hopefully it'll be fixed and not too much of an issue. Now, one thing I do wanna point out kind of before I end this, let me know what you guys think. I don't do a lot of vlogs at not the races. I'm always vlogging at the races and I really felt like I found my rhythm and my flow for how I like those vlogs to go. But it's a lot different when you're not making a video at home or at the races. It's so, it's so weird to make a video not on racing. So it's something I wanna work on in the future and let me know if you guys want me to post more vlogs of just what the family is doing. But anyway, I really appreciate your feedback in the comments below. I love reading them. Lately, I've been trying to respond to as many of you guys as possible. But we're back home. We got it all situated. And since we're not gonna miss an annual coast trip, all of our family's already over there. So we went and found like a cheap trailer. We're renting it and we're gonna head over uh, tomorrow, which it will probably be the day before you're watching this video. So uh, we're heading back over there to hang out. And anyway, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. It's gonna be fun. And pretty soon here in a few weeks, we'll be back to Outlaw Kart Racing. See you guys on the next one. Deuces.